welcome to Art with me, Miss Reed. Something quite cool to make is a little figure because then you can use it in like your games or whatever. You make little puppet shows. So you need four bits for legs and arms, a long piece for the head and a long piece for your body. And then lots of little tiny pieces, kind of like sellotape. Just cut in any size, just like as long as they're little thin strips. So you can start off with your leg. Scrunch it long ways and then fold it in half so it's thicker. Now this is just sort of like a little stick man. You can make them thicker if you like, you just need more tin foil. I've bent the bottom so you've got a little foot. Repeat that again. Make sure the same length. Sit them to the side. Then you've got your arms. Fold that in half so it's not as long as the leg. It's quite good though because you can't really go wrong because if it is too long, you just fold a bit back on itself and scrunch. So you don't need to measure anything. And then I'm going to push that out where it'll land. Sort of looks like the leg. Then you've got your head, doesn't matter how you fold this, just scrunch it up. So you've got a circle. I'm not putting any like facial features on this one, it's just a little sort of figure. And then the body. I kind of get it to be a bit like that and then I slot my pieces in. So open up, put the leg in and then fold a little bit of that tin foil behind it. Second leg. Like that. And then I use all the excess to fold over. So that way your legs are trapped in before you're doing the scrunching. Then I think about where my arms are gonna go. Again, once you're happy with it, you can fold it down by over. If you forget to like put something in, it's okay because you can just get another bit of your sort of sellotape tin foil and wrap it in and coat it in again. If you don't think something's strongly holding it, get another piece. And then you've got your head. So I'm gonna wrap the top of the head and then put it inside the body again like that. And then use that as your tape. And we get one more bit to go horizontal, pull that bit in. It's quite fiddly, but it's really forgivable so you can just keep scrunching it into the body. And you've got yourself a little 
here. You can add hair, you could add anything you like. You could add a costume, you could have like a dress or jeans, whatever you want. But that's the kind of basic. Um, all you need to have is some bits cut for the arms, legs, body and head, and then some thin bits to, uh, to act as a sort of glue. And, then it, and it's very flexible, so if you're making something like a dollhouse or whatever, you can sit them down, sit them on a chair, you can have different expressions. This one's dancing like this. And just keep moving them. <laughs>